Uh, hey guys, so um, it's me and I've been doing some thinking since I put up the, uh, well I filmed I guess, the Kirby review um, earlier today, which was, by earlier today I mean like 1am, so uh, yeah, as you can see, different shirt. Um, but I did some thinking um, from that, and uh, you know how a lot of people, like, I'm trying to make the video, uh, the argument of video games being art, or comparing it to movies or books, you know, stuff like that, like more uh, literary or or uh, visual literary. I don't know, but ex you know, stuff like that. Well, um, I I've been doing this some thinking, and I've maybe I I'm just hungry when I think. I don't know, but I've come to the conclusion that video games are. I compare to like to compare them to another kind of art form ish type thing. Uh, they're more like food uh, and, the, and the culinary arts. And um, I jotted down some reasons why I think so. And I'm going to try to look towards the camera as I say them because I know my review kind of went a little awkward there and derp a derp. So um, here they are. Um, first of all, both of them have a unique quality that separates them from. At, like any other type of t t type of art or or something like that. Um, of course, video games have the interactivity and um, food has mm, a taste. You know, like you you can't taste a painting or or a movie um, or a video game for that matter. But but you can taste food, and that's what kind of separates them from. You know, it sep separates food from every other type of, like, expression or something. Um, and the taste, like, gameplay is made up of, you know, different elements or ingredients that, that are combined in, in a certain way and, and blended together in a certain way or a certain fashion in order to make something. And, of course, the, the, the amount of ingredients, the quality, the quantity, they're all, you know, carefully designed and picked and, you know, to, to complement the other elements, like, you know, you have stylized graphics and, and gameplay go, or go together or, you know, like, you, you, you'll saute a certain meal because, you know, it has this spice in it, something like that. I don't know. I'm not a chef, uh, nor am I a video game designer, but each of those things has some, you know, they're, they're very carefully crafted using, eat, you know, certain ingredients, um, you know, in, in order to complement everything else and, and just o improve the overall, the overall meal. Um, but just besides the, uh, the taste of a food or the gameplay of a video game, they, they do have a visual element and, uh, and the, the, this presentation uh, of the, the, the food or the, the, the game has a huge impact on the overall appeal of, of the product. Um, uh, similarly, like uh, how restaurants or or um, diners and stuff, they're they're all designed a certain way, um, like a video game is, like like the setting of a video game to make to to give the participant of each um, a certain level of immersion. You know, if if um, if the the McDonald's you went to was was you know decked out like a gourmet restaurant, and they had you know people on the violin you know, and stuff like that, it wouldn't feel the same, and, well, hell, the, might, the food might taste a little better, because, um, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I've always felt like if you, you take, like, a doggy bag home, you know, food, um, it never tastes as good as it does in the restaurant, and I really do think that it's because the atmosphere, it's different at home, and you have, like, fluorescent lights at home, and while the restaurant may have, like, a chandelier or something, and that really does affect the, the, the taste of the food and how you feel about it. Um, much like graphics in a game or something like that, you know, what, what type of style it uses. Like, I don't, I really don't think that Wind Waker would have been better received if it didn't go cell shaded or, or Kirby's Epic Yarn, which is the game that really got me thinking about this. If it wasn't for the yarn art direction, it wouldn't have been such a good game because a lot of the elements wouldn't have made sense otherwise and they probably wouldn't have been in the game and that's what really separated from the pack and made it unique. Um, also, unlike movies or books, food and video games, share something in that um, they, they're not all about expression and of course the the main point the main focus of food is you know to 
quell your hunger, and, you know, it's to be eaten, and, um, you know, a game is, game is meant to be beaten, you know, it's meant to be played, but, um, you know, even, even though the, they're not made just to, um, you know, expression of either the artist's, um, either the artist's, um, feelings or to to evoke a, a, a emotional response from you know the, the either the eater or the the player that does come along as a second effect like you know I feel happy when I play video games and sometimes I feel like accomplished or I feel challenged you know I feel determined to get through a video game and the video game designers you know if they did their job right that's what I was supposed to feel when playing the game or playing that part and with, on the food end of the spectrum you know you have stuff like feel good food like people you know, are very comfortable when they eat macaroni and cheese, unless you're lactose intolerant, in which case you feel very, very uncomfortable eating macaroni and cheese, but, you know, or cookies, or, why did I say it so weirdly, cookies, no, like cookies, or, you know, desserts make you feel happy, they make you feel like a kid, um, so both of them share that, that quality, um, and that's completely different from, like, art, you know, from, like, like, you know, uh, paintings and, and movies and stuff because those are meant just to get a, an emotional or, or a mental response from you. Um, and uh, again, food and video games share something in that there's only... I mean, there's only one way to watch a movie, you know? And, and like, I don't mean, there, you, you know, like, there's one way to think about it or you, you could go to a theater or watch it at home, but... You can watch a movie forwards and backwards, and that's how you're supposed to watch it, and that's, you know, like, the only reason, that's the only way it'll really make sense to you, back to forwards. The same thing with the book. But video games and food, of course, you could play a video game or eat food ha whatever way you want. You could eat it with your hand, you could eat it with a fork, you could play a video game, you know, you could follow the story, you could just explore around, uh, you could skip levels sometimes, so, uh, there's also that similarity. So, um... Maybe I was just hungry when thinking of this, but I, I did find, uh, I think, a, a lot of very reasonable similarities between the the uh, culinary arts and the video game arts, or what a lot of people, including myself, would consider an art, but people, of course, like Roger Ebert would consider... Um, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm guessing that's how Roger Ebert would describe... I don't know. I got stupid there at the end. But, um, yeah... If you don't agree, at least I hope you found it a little interesting. Um, you know, maybe you'll think about video games in a different way uh, than how you would otherwise after watching this. And you're like, you know what? This peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's a 10 out of 10 for a video game. So, um, I mean, if it's a really good peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and if you're really into peanut butter and jelly sandwich, um, sandwich! But, uh, yeah. That was really bad, um, heavy, and, um, so yeah, that's just a quickie little video thought I had, and, uh, I am out.